The national president of the National Nigerian Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers, NAPGAM, Mr. Nusa Okeva Okumbo, has expressed concerns over the rising cost of cooking gas in some parts of the country. Speaking at the annual general meeting of the association, Mr. Okumbo called on relevant government agencies to review policy formulation on full domestication of liquefied petroleum gas as one of the ways to address price stability of the products. Blessed Omonose has details. The use of liquefied petroleum gas LPG, popularly known as cooking gas in Nigeria, has increased significantly leading to the growth of LPG consumption from 550,000 metric tons in 2017 to about 1.2 million metric tons in 2020. This outstanding feat has recorded a quantum leap in the number of LPG operators and terminals across the country. However, despite all the effort aimed at increasing the availability of cooking gas in the country, the swearing price of the product has become worrisome to both stakeholders as well as the consumers. Against this backdrop, industry players under the aegis of National Association of Liquefied Petroleum Gas Marketers, NAPGAB, at their 2021 annual general meeting held in Lagos, have called on the government to review its policies so as to address the inconsistent availability of the products. What we consume in this country, 60% of it is imported, 40 with source local. So if you are putting VAT on it, that VAT will, eat, at the end of the day, be bought, will be bought by, by consumers. And when you are putting the VAT, you backdated it. The product they've sold, you are now putting VAT and you backdated it. So this is the problem we have in the country and this is what is responsible for the high cost of cooking gas in Nigeria. After this AGM, we're going to be more all out for the most especially for the consumers because like you mentioned everybody is talking about gas but our major concern our focus is the ordinary man on the street who is paid too much for cooking gas in nigeria as of today so our focus after this agm is to is to is to bring in everybody have a comprehensive discussion so that the price can begin to come down see how this issue for NAPGAM to sustain the gains made by boosting the consumption of LPG at its current level, this lawmaker urged the association to increase its visibility with policy makers. The registered uh, gas plant owners and then the measures they take to regulate them and talked about it is anything about the ones that are not registered. So what are we doing about the ones that are not registered? Because most of the incidents are happening right now around those that are not registered. Should they be allowed to operate? So if this association, if they are visible, they should be able to bring out the ones that are not registered and whip everyone into line. That's where we can have the compliance. As this event comes to a successful close with the election of Mr. Ladapo Olatubosu emerging as the new national president of the Gavni Council, NAPGA has no doubt position to enhance its contributions to the growth of the Nigerian's oil and gas industry. Blessed Omonuse, TVC News, Lagos.